Alright guys, welcome back to Zero Play's Pokemon Y version. Last time, before I get interrupted by notifications from my computer, we made our way to this town that apparently I can't find a Pokemon Center in, and then we got spotted by the Professor. Congratulations! I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Ring for the Trainer, and a strong bond with your Pokemon. A strong bond? It's only a hypothesis, but I think that the bond between Pokemon and Trainer is the key to new uh, this new evolution. But what is this bond exactly? Bond, James Bond. And why are the examples of Mega Evolution only in the Cows region? There's still so much we don't know. Does this make you think of something like Kalos' legendary Pokemon? Found only here in Kalos region, right? Nowhere else? Maybe that's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point indeed! The more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, does it? Oh, that's right. I came here to give you this. Oh, I got fly. Finally. Okay. Fly to pop right over to the Pokemon Centers of places you've already visited. Well, then, oh my god. Deontha? Deontha? <laughs> I hope you hope to see you both again soon. Bonds, they really are important to us all, aren't they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. It's the same for people, or Pokemon. Ugh, excuse me. Oh, never mind me. I'm just babbling about my own things. Let's have a battle next we meet, shall we? I'm still looking forward to it. Well then, I now have Fly. Okay, bye, Furnace. Uh, I can't do anything here. You. Totally random TM quiz. If you give me a correct answer, whoa, I'll give you a TM. Do you want to try the quiz? Sure. Yay, now there's the question. What's the move that I'm describing? Sword Pokemon get to move first for five turns. Uh, uh, trick Room? Correct, correct. Oh, so I'll give you a TM. I don't have to explain the kind of move it is, correct? Trick Room. There we go. Please come again tomorrow. If you give me a correct answer, I'll give you another TM. Sweet. Yeah, the city doesn't have a fucking Pokemon Center. Okay, whoa, why did that skip? So do I have to take this, like, railway? Sure, I'll ride the monorail. Why not? There's the book on the center. Alrighty. Put my party all up. Okay, no, I don't want to answer the questions for a profile, thank you very much. Okay. I just think there's another clothes shop around here. I haven't gotten clothes in a really long time. Where's this lead? Oh, this leads out of the city. I don't want to do that yet. There we go. Sorry to keep you waiting. The reason I wanted to meet you is I want to see Mega Evolution in action. Whether you use it or not, it's up to you. Since I'm a Pokemon trainer, I want to know about things that make Pokemon special. Alright. Alright, Callum, let's go. Show me what you got. Meow stick first. 
All right. Let's try the new move I got. Let's try Bulldoze. Damn it. Of course you use Light Screen. Okay, so... Let's hit him with a Surf. Wow, that did, like, nothing. Okay. Let's see what this does. Wow. Okay, seriously, stop sending me messages in the middle of my recording. Fuck. Alright, so... Um... I don't like this. I'm gonna switch Pokemon. Oh, what do I wanna use? Um... That's not Froppy. Show me his boss, Froppy. Yeah. Use Water Pulse, I think. Mm, wow. Is it because I'm a dark type? Alright, let's try Water Shuriken. Take that, bitch. Alright, Froppy leveled up. That's pretty good. Shifty Eyes leveled up, which is funny because I was fighting Pokemon that Shifty Eyes is. Well, I want to learn Extra Sensory. I'm gonna do that. It's 80. Psy Shock oh, does, also does 80. This user attacks an odd and see power. This may also make a target flinch. What does Psy Shock do? Attack the Chargus. Attack does physical damage. Well, I might as well forget that. Ta da! And learned extra sensory. Nice. Nito Ryusuke. Ryusuke. Uh, Collided. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to Firebird on this one. Is that its final form? No, it's still its second form. So let's see. I'm gonna try Flame Charge. Damn. Fuck bite, really? Take my flame body, bitch. I don't know if Quick Attack would be enough to finish it off, so I'm going to finish it off with Aerial Ace. Take that. Bam. Alright. Level 39. Okay. Absol. I absolutely will change Pokemon. Go Monster Kid. This might be a bad idea. But, it doesn't hurt to try it. Alright, so... A lot of charge. Oh shit, no slash. Ah, oh, of course it was a critical hit. Alright. And Akaza, you're up. Alright. Okay. Well, just like before, I need another revive. I want Monster Kid to get that experience. Alright. Ah! Critical hit even on Quick Attack, Jesus. Alright, so, let's hit him with Vital Throw.
Damn, he's getting a lot of critical hits. Fucking Absol, man. But it's dead now, so we're fine. Alright. And Akaza leveled the fuck up. Level 36. So did <laughs> Monster Kid. Alright. Oof. <laughs> Oof. I'd kind of forgotten how strong you are. Alright. Cute Chick got 33,000. 3,300. Even though we set, set, set off from Vetterville Town at the same time, there's a gap in our strength. Do you have something I don't? I guess I'll have to think about it. Well, good luck with your gym battle. Well, I'm not going to the gym just yet, dude. I gotta kill Pokemons and shit. Skyplate? Nice. Is there that helps with flying moves? It's a Skyplate. Use Rain to estimate Rain and Thunder will never miss. Rain, Rain, come today. Drizzle ability, you're fantastic. Okay, so. Is your Kelsey? Is your girl's deep, deep sleep? Is your... Okay. Oh, yeah! This little mouse will give you a big smile. <laughs> I see, you tried to rhyme, you fucker. Okay, so. I do want to quickly check with these kids. Both Pokemon and monorails are cool, but monorails are cool because you see it really far away on the board. I think it's cool. I put one in monorails. Well, I don't have time to answer your question. Alright, alright. Enough lollygagging. Let's go heal our Pokemon. Alright. Alright. Now, just real quick before I end the part. I want to see if that one dude is actually a trainer or he's just chilling. If he's a trainer, I'll fight him. If he's just chilling, then I'll end the part. Alright. See the other animation now. Okay. Alright, so let's see this guy. Is he a trainer? Yep. This is all about catching and releasing. Catching and releasing? Oh god. Fisherman Murray. Magic herb. Oh no, not one of these guys. He has six fucking magic herbs. Are you serious? I should have just skipped. Oh fuck. You better not have just six fucking magic herbs. And they're all low level, too. They're level 24, probably. Oh, you fucking waste of time. Why is there always one of these guys in, in the games? Like, why? Why is it so necessary for you to have six fucking magic herbs? Oh my god. I thought this was going to be a battle where you had like two Pokemon and I could take them out. Instead, they're all fucking magic cards. They're worthless. They give no experience. This is literally a waste of time. I could have gotten the same amount of experience if he had two Pokemon. Like two. Ugh. So gross. God damn it. Why would you do that game? Why would you. If he doesn't have a Gyarados at the end of this, I'm going to be pissed. Alright, bring on the next magic curve. Alright. I love how he's picking specific magic cards to pick out like it fucking matters. Because it's fucking magic curve. Uh, of course, his last Pokemon was a fucking magic curve. What a fucking waste of time. What a way to end the video. Find a bunch of fucking magic herbs. God damn. Alright.
Oh no, awesome bad. I just released Oh my god. Of course he's a creeper too. Alright guys. We'll finish this part off here. So next time on Zero Place Pokemon Y version, we'll think about taking on that gym. See you then. Hey guys, if you enjoy these videos and want to support them, hit that subscribe button and maybe hit that bell to get notifications. You can also back me on Patreon, where for as little as a dollar a month you'll get early access to videos, behind the scenes extras, and a whole lot more.